Hello, stampers and crafters. I am so happy to be here today. Happy, happy Valentine's Day. My name is Kivon, and I am from ktstamps.com, and my motto is creating cards for you. So today is Wednesday, and we do hump day sketches on Wednesday. But today, because it's Valentine's Day, we're changing things up just a little. We have a tic-tac-toe here. And on tic-tac-toe, as you know, you can do anything in straight lines down or straight lines across or diagonal or I also use the four corners or you can go a blackout. Well, I'm so excited today because we're going to do straight line across and do a Valentine's that is pink and it has embellishments on it. And then the next thing we're going to do is a blackout. So I'm really excited to share this with you. So my first card is a Valentine's pink and it's embellished. And with this, this is my Valentine's card today. And it is a fun fold, and I absolutely love it. I think this is one of my best cards. And I do have to give a great big shout out to Teresa McEnty from Teresa's Treasures Paper Crafts. She's the one that I got the fancy fold from. So thank you, Teresa. Really appreciate that. So as you open this... Here's the full card. Love it. With all my heart. I love this. Or it can also be folded back this way. And with this, it's a fun way just to celebrate um, Valentine's Day. So this is going to be our first card that we will create. And then, of course, I wanted to do some Ghirardelli holders so this does have a Ghirardelli chocolate inside it and as you can see there's enough space in here that you can add one of those mini or bite-sized chocolates and you can use these for parties for pillow gifts for you know colleagues that you want to give you want to just kind of dress things up a little bit I received my first one, and this came from Barbara Gonzalez, and she gave these as gifts for being in a swap, and I just really love this, but I decided I wanted something just to have a little bit more to it, so that's when I created this. So we're going to go ahead and get ourselves started on this. Sorry about that. I had everything all ready and now I'm a little lost. All right, so we are going to start off by using the adorning hearts. And with that, we are using the um, With All My Heart. We are also using a retired stamp set that this is called the Heart Punch Pack. And this is number one, and it, you can see that it has a scallop around it. And then there's a little bit smaller heart that just is the heart that can fit inside. But we're going to use this today. We are also using our adhesive back sparkle gems. And they are gold, black, and white, I think. Yes. So they're champagne. They're not gold, they're champagne. We also have our Picatool, our stamp set, and we are using, okay, some Moody Moth. So that's what we're going to stamp in as long as our, oh, this one doesn't come yet. I put it in the wrong holder. Okay, we'll get to the Ghirardelli chocolate in just a minute. So that's what we're going to start with. So I'm just going to kind of clear things out and talk you through. All the measurements, remember, are on my blog. So please just go to the blog and take a look at what I have there. 
So our first is just bubble bath and we're going to give it just a good crease because I think that's one of the things I don't have on this one is just a really good crease. And then we're going to take our second and we're going to give it a really good crease. This one feels a little bit bigger than the other one. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I need to take a little off this. All right, so that's what our first part of our heart looks like. Then we have two pieces of um, designer series paper. And our designer series paper came from the Most Adorned DSP. And this is a specialty paper where it has gold on one side. It's like gold embossed. And then it just has different designs on the back. The color on the inside will either be flamingo, um, flirty flamingo, or real red. And you can see what we're doing, these hearts. I wanted to do something in these hearts. They're, it's just a really nice designer series paper. And it's only available during um, celebration. So please make sure that you get your orders in for a celebration. So the first thing, you guys can see that I cut this paper wrong. And if you didn't, you now know it. But I thought, why not? We can have something that's just looking a little interesting. <laughs> so I just decided to go with it. So we're just going to add this on. And you can see that I have about a half an inch on this side. And that is so everything can lay and layer up. All right. So our next big piece is just going right on the inside here. Now this card will go together pretty easily and pretty fast. Once you get everything cut. All right, so we're taking these hearts and we're adding it just right inside. So we have our first part of our card put together. So we're going to put that aside for a minute. We're going to bring out our bubble bath. And then we're also going to bring out our heart punch. Now, when you do the heart punch, you want to try to get it a little bit in the middle, but it can only go down so far because then it gets stuck inside the punch. <laughs> Excuse me. So we are going to just put it in the punch and give a nice little squeeze. <coughs> Excuse me. And here is our heart for the first part of the uh, fun fold. You'll also have this, and this will also be used on the inside. So we are just going to kind of find out exactly where could you put this. You want it enough so when you look at it, you can go ahead and make sure that everything has a nice little edge all the way around it. Now I'm going to add this just with some adhesive. And again, this is my stamp and seal. And I am going to just gently put it in here. I'm going to measure it and then I'm going to just take a look to see if it's okay on top. There you go. And that looks about even here. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to press it down. So there we go. We have the first part of the card made. So now what we're going to do is that we are going to take the heart and we are going to take the stamp and because I am dealing with my um, glass mat they stamp really easy the um, what is it photo palmer stamps they just really stamp nice and easy on here so you do not have to bring in okay your paper piercer 
So all I'm going to do is get this right in the center, I hope, and just give it a nice little stamp. And then we are just going to take this and I got a little bit of tape there. And then we're going to bring this back and all we're going to do is stick this oh, got it right on my fingers, of course, right in the center. And then we're just going to open it. And then we're just going to adhere it down. Doggone this. And then we almost have our card done and ready to go. So now we are going to take our pick a tool. We're also going to take our sparkle gems. I went with all the small ones. And I just started in the corner and I decided that I really wanted something that triangles that you could use down at the bottom, except for maybe I might. Yeah, I'll have to do something a little bit different. Maybe I'll take a big one. So it's going to be a little bit different than the other one because, of course, I didn't get my... Sorry about that. I'm trying to get this off my nail. I guess I'll just put it down here. Oh, my sticky tool. I forgot about that. Every now and then I do. I cut myself today. I was making a smoothie and I just decided that I had to have this banana. And the banana was frozen. And of course I didn't take the um, skin off the banana. So... I just had to take a knife and see if I could cut it off and lo and behold I ended up cutting me instead. So there's everything. Let me see if I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need to make this. We're going to go one more down here. Nine. We got some weird triangles that we are making. We're okay. So our card is done, even though we had some faux pas. All right, so that's our first card. And we're done in 12 minutes. Love that. All right, so we're going to keep that out. And our next card, we are, we are using Be My Valentine, and we are using Love You. We're also using, and I think I've already punched it, this heart, and it's from the Bee Builder Punch. We got out our Love You for the heart, our piece of Ghirardelli chocolate, our glue dots that we're going to need to adhere it, and then the Sheer Ribbon Combo Pack, we are using the bubble bath in here. And the last thing, we are using the Forever Love Designer Series paper. So that's what we are going to use on our Ghirardelli. And this one's really nice too, because it is made up of vanilla, which this card is, vanilla, mauve, pretty peacock, and some moody mauve. So that's what we are using. I'm also going to bring in my, I'm going to do it this way, my Simply Score. So we are, I have to find my cheat sheet. We are going to score at three and one fourth and I'm using this small stylist and then three and three fourths and then seven and one fourth 
So that's what we're doing. Again, three and one fourth, three and three fourths, seven and one fourth. So that is what we're using our Simply Score for. And I scored the other ones with this too. I just really like this. And I think that we don't use it enough. So I wanted to make sure that I got a chance just to use it. So we're going to crease these really well. And this is the bottom where the two ends meet are the front. And so we are going to work on the front of the card. All right. So this is how it's really going to go together. That's it. Like we got a tent. Not a lot to it. All right. Then we are also going to use our iridescent rhinestone basic jewels and our beautiful flower. This is going to be for the top. And then this card is going to go right on side of the cardstock. And then we are going to use the beautiful ribbon and our very vanilla um, heart. So as we go to put this together, first thing that we are going to do is add the um, designer series paper to this. And again, it's going to fit around about a eighth of an inch, I think, fourth of an inch, all the way around. Then we're going to bring the vanilla in. And we're going to add this on top. And again, the same thing. This one's going to be just a little bit smaller. And this one's going to go on top. And I just wanted something to um, kind of add coordinating colors to what's going on. And you really won't notice it very much because uh, this one has the gold that will shine, and the other one just will have the um, ribbon that stays over top of it. And we are going to take our ribbon right now, find a glue dot, and just add it to the top. I love how beautiful this ribbon is absolutely beautiful it's like one of my favorite favorite ribbons oh so nice then we're going to take our moody mauve our love you and then we're just going to stamp on top of this And this, again, goes together so nice, so fast. I am missing, oh, here it is. Then we're going to take this love, add a dimension, or dimensional to it, right in the middle, peel it off. Put it to the side for just a minute so we can kind of see where do we want it. And I think I want it a little more down in this corner so I can really show off this flower. I like that. Then we're going to open that up, grab our Ghirardelli chocolate. Love these things. And all I did was I just bought a bag like this. It has the dark chocolate mint, the mint caram, or excuse me, the milk chocolate caramel, and just the dark cocoa chocolate. So 
so that's all I bought for this. I'm going to scoop this down enough so I can grab two glue dots. I'm going to put one at the top. Okay, and then one towards the bottom. Try to get it right in the middle of this and try not to squish it very much. Okay, I'm going to just put it right in the center of the gift. Of the gift holder, I love this! So then, we are going to take two dimensionals. And when you open this, you'll have to open it from the dimensionals. Okay, you'll seem like you're going to have to tear it just a little bit to get it open. And we want to make sure that it's lined up at the bottom, lined up at the top, and we're just going to seal it. Yay! Oh, Teresa! I love that first card. Thank you, Barbara. I love this. Thank you. So we are now just going to take our rhinestones and we are just going to add a few on here. I'm in the mood for glitter today. There, oops, we're almost there, and there we go. Kind of showing off the flower, but yet giving a big shout out to the love you. So we're almost done. Now, one thing that I like to do is that I unfortunately am a little bit like a glitter queen. All my um, misters have some alcohol and some type of color in them. So you can see this has some color and then I have something that looks like this. This is Winkastella. In this Winkastella, it shoots straight out and it does not mist the card. It just shoots and totally destroys the card. So what we're going to do is that I took some alcohol, poured it in here, then I poured like six to eight drops of the Winkastella, shaking it up, woohoo! And then I'm going to use this because it does mist and just spray. And now you can see that there is just a little more shine to it, including on top. And I just really like the way that this turned out. It was just a fun little um, holder that really just kind of showed itself off. And I don't know, you can't see a lot of it right now, but there's some on this. And then Barbara didn't spray anything on this but those are my three and i love the look of these they're just so sweet but anyway these are the cards that i created today and again happy happy valentine's day and um i hope that you have a good evening and that you you know, I mean, you don't have to be special just on Valentine's Day. You can be special all the time. So I'm going to send out some love to the people that I have a few gifts for. It's going to be late. And I will talk to you guys next week. All right. I hope that you are ready for just a fun-filled week of humpback sketches. I love this stuff. Love this kind of stuff. So again, my name is Kivon. I'm from ktstamps.com and I love creating cards for you. Have a great Valentine's Day. Thank you. Bye-bye.